Hello and welcome. I don't normally stream on a Thursday, you know, but there's a new community goal and I fancied a bit of it. All about rescue missions and things like that. So what I'm currently doing is just setting up the stream because, like always, I'm not prepared. Uh, and what I'm going to do is we're going to get cracking straight away. That's what we're going to do. And kapow. There we are. Right then, community goal, everybody. I've got the ship. Got it all outfitted. Check it out. It's Maconda, the rescue badger. Here we are. Um, I've got it all fitted out with economy, one or two business class uh, passenger things as well. So we should be able to have in here just go back boom, boom, boom. inventory down to business 32 64 96 100 108 110 120 130 people on our anaconda so that's what we're going to do we're going to go and do the rescue mission Okay, here we are then. Right, so first off, find out where the community goal is. Mission board. There's our community goal. It says no community goals. Well, what's going on then? Because when I looked at Galnet, it was there. And that's me preempting things. I'm just getting ready, really. Um, bum, 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 bum. There you are, look. Galactic Summit cancelled. NMMA attacks superpowers. The conference in the Sirius system has ended prematurely after terrorist bombings against nine starports across the Alliance, Empire and Federation. Sirius Corporation confirmed that the cancellation was due to fears that Patterson Enterprise Station may be the next target. All scheduled business including finalizing the Sirius Treaty, has been halted. The delegations are returning to their home systems under high security. Temporary permits for the Sirius system will remain in place for one week. Pilots who contributed to the security and trade initiatives held in partnership with the Empire can collect their rewards at the spirit of Laylaps. Core Dynamics, Gutemeyer and Lacon Spaceways will continue to offer a 10% discount on all their ships for one more week. The neo marlinist Liberation Army has claimed responsibility for the simultaneous attacks in nine systems, including superpower capitals Akana, Alios, and Sol. The following message was broadcast on NMLA propaganda channels. I no longer have a name. Nor a family. Nor a future. Each taken by the Empire. Now all I have is the dehumanizing number printed on my uniform in their torture chambers. Now all I am is Theta-7. The Alliance and Federation's rulers have revealed themselves as imperialist supporters of the Deval dynasty, which has crushed our ideals for a thousand years. Peoples of the galaxy, you can change this. We give you your own nine martyrs. Use them to retake control and regain your power. Media news feeds are detailing the impact and implications of the attacks. There is speculation that NMLA activists were concealed among Marlinist refugees that fled to Alliance and Federation space to escape Imperial persecution. The Marlinist Parliament has officially stated it has no connection to neo-Marlinist extremists and that it will cooperate with security and emergency services during this crisis. Well, that's all well and good, isn't it? Um, right, so I'm off to... Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm not off there, that's not actually a place. But I'm going to go to Parkinson Dock, because I'm in the Otanesis system. Otanesis system? Yeah, we're going to go there, right? Um, so that's where we're off. And we're going to do some, some missions. Right. So, into the galaxy map. Into the galaxy map. Where's the galaxy map? There it is. And we are but a short hop away from here. There it is. We're off, mate. 
Let's get ourselves over there. Right. Are we ready? I think we are. Launch. We're launching. We're launching. Isn't it exciting? We're launching. Oh, check out the old anaconda. Ooh. Yes, folks, it's the rescue badger. It's where we're at. I did have another anaconda on the way, but I couldn't be bothered waiting. So, um, we're off skis. We are off ski off skis. Right. It's been a long time since I tried destroying this. Destroying it, I mean getting it out of the docking bay. Used to flying the cutter and the corvette. Ooh, we go. Right, so while we're we're moving away from the station. And we've got our flipper down. What I'm going to do is make sure I've got all my fire groups sorted out. Look at that. Look at all these pack hounds. This will be the purpose of this weekend's videos, everybody. I've got a Olympic controller and I want to have me heat sinks. After that. Not going to need chaff. Um, right. Let's get going. Pack hounds. Pack hounds. Right. <clears throat> so I've trimmed the ship down. We've got a lot of we've got a lot of space in you. Three, two, one, we're going. It's a couple of jumps. Let's go and see what's going on. Now, normally they have a rescue ship in the area, don't they? Um, where the hell is this thing going? Right, okay. We're jumping again. Normally there's a rescue ship in in situ. Not the case this time, I don't think. Or I haven't seen anything. And even though there's a community goal there, I haven't been able to select it. So we'll see what happens when we turn up. Let's just see, shall we? Next jump is us. So I was doing a little bit of engineering on the pack hounds that I've got fitted to this anaconda. <laughs> and I've got a load of pack hounds. A load of them. Um, but we're going to be going through all of that on the weekend. Because I want to go through the engineering and see how effective they are. You know, I've spent the money. I've kitted the Anaconda out with them, with the exception of um, two machine gun ports and a beam laser. So I've got a good five or six uh, ports there. And I might buy a different ship, like a Federation gunship or something like that, uh, to, to put them all on. And then go back to the, the normal Anaconda armaments. Because it is weighing it down quite a bit. Okay, so we're here. Parkinson Dock. And there's the rescue ship, Parkinson Dock. So, let's get ourselves over there to a bit of search and rescue. I got some limpets as well, because normally when you roll into these places, 
right? Normally when you roll in there, um, there's loads of stuff you can pick up if you've got the heat sink primed and ready to go to keep yourself nice and cool. Um, so I've got some of those. Let's get in there. And I don't, know, I don't normally do these these rescue missions. I find them a bit boring, to be honest. But I thought, well, you know, why not? Don't know what we're going to get. It's something to do. You know, it's a Thursday. Quite fancy getting a kebab tonight as well. But fortunately, the rescue ship is, you know, it's negligible where that is. Right. I want... Let's speed up a little bit so we can get in there a bit quicker. Here we go. Yes, folks, look at it. It's all that guff all over it. Let's have a, a look, see what we can have a look at. Massive rent there, look. And this is done by not the Thargoids, even though there's all that green Thargoid stuff all over it, right? This is done by, you know, this liberation faction. So they made a right old mess of that, haven't they? Look at that. Right old mess. Let's get in, see what it's all about. Look at that. That's had a right old mess, isn't it? Look at it. I do like that sort of like warning, warning, warning aspect of things. Right. Request docking. You've been permitted access, Commander. Ensure your seals are online prior to entry. Right. Let's make sure we got things sorted out yet. I want my... Oh, we don't want that, do we? And we don't want that, do we? And we don't want that. We want the limpet controller. Alright. That's what we want. Heat sink launcher. Lovely, lovely, and we want our collector limpets. All right, so we can fire the collector limpets off. Um, don't think we want that we want it there so we can just flip up through them nice and easy like right okay we're going in we're going in we're going in we got all our lights on don't need that but you can see what sort of damage it's had let's slow down Get the gear on. High temperatures ahead, everybody. Now there's all sorts of stuff in here. Now the temperature's rising. Let's get the um, collector limpets around. See what we get out. See what we get on the go. Right, where's our pad? What pad do we want? 32. There it is. It's 
pretty cool, isn't it? Let's have a good look around. Limpets are doing their thing. We're right above where we need to be. Bit like Dante's Inferno in here. Look at that. It's all sorts of stuff flying around. So we've got another set of heat sinks. What are we picking up here? We are picking up damaged escape pods, occupied escape pod, black box. Ooh, look at all this. Just got to keep an eye on the temperature. Getting ourselves all nice and frosty. Picking up the stuff, see? There's our pad. Let's get down, get some people in. Starport services. Right. See, that community goal, nothing there, see? So it's hardly a community goal. Anyway, not to worry. Um, let's get some stuff on a go. Sad events on the law. You're right there, Gonzalo. So, um... We got all our stuff. Well, passenger lounge. Let's get people out, shall we? Let's get people out. Um, who's paying the most money? Bah. Right, okay. So, pick a cabin, any cabin. Look at that. Only accepting business class. What do you mean capacity exceed? Oh, look at that one. That's 21. Um, we get any advances on 21 we can stick people in. No. 23. 23. Right, let's go for the 20, 23 we had. Pick a cabin, any cabin. It's a shame, isn't it? Incoming mission critical message. Pick a cabin. We need more people. Pick a cabin. We're just banging them in now, aren't we? Look at this. Go for the three, because it could be a family. Incoming mission critical message. Incoming mission critical message. Picking another cabin. Getting him in. Pick a cabin. There's my business cabin now. Incoming cleared them out, got all of those. Who can I get? And there's not going to be one, is there? Well, there might be. No, nope, can't do it, mate. Sorry, I can get you there. Incoming mission critical message. Right, that's it. I think we're full. Are we ready? Time to get out, everybody. We're leaving. We've got one heat sink left. It's not really about the many, it's it's making yourself feel like, you know. Right. 
Yeah, this NMLA stuff. We're frostying ourselves down. We don't want any, we don't want any damage, do we? Let's get ourselves out of here. And we're out. Woohoo! Frosty. Right, where are we going now? We are going. Look at all that stuff. There, look. Encrypted correspondence and all that go. We will be back for all of that. Um, Parkinson Dock rescue ship. Here we go. All good stuff. What? You can't go giving me bloody demands now. I've got you out. I need to just turn this thing around because I overshot it again. There it is, there it is, there it is. Whoa, we're getting out. And there it is. It's a rescue ship, everybody. Get our flipper down. Get in there. Pad one. That's what we need. Use this cheeky monkey. If anyone wants to have a go, I've got flipping a load of pack hounds. That's a load of pack hounds. So I'm just waiting for some little Herbert in a challenger to have a go because they is gonna have it. I'm flying an anaconda and it flies like a brick. Here it is and down. We're down. Repair. Rearm. Bit of refuel. Why not? There you have it. There's the passenger lounge. Complete mission. Do I want anything? Money. That's what I want. I want money. Money, 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 baby. Grid resistors. Hmm. Yeah, go on in. Because you know I'm a big old tart for materials. Money, 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 money. And of course, it is the saving of lives in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. Of course, why we're here. Ooh, Echoes. We like them. We'll have those. Right. Well, I think that's it. I'm not taking anybody back in, am I? No. Excellent stuff. Um, search and rescue contact. Look at that. We got all this stuff. Um, 
You know, it's a bit of money, isn't it? Like, it's not bad. Hand them in. Better than nothing. Was it worth all the uh, all the other stuff we've got going on? Have we got anything else left? I think that's it, isn't it? Limpets. Well, we need limpets. Everyone needs limpets. Uh, right then. Let's go back. Get some more peeps. Parkinson Dock. Old Patricia's flagship here as well. Woo. There you go. We is leaving, bud. Right. Just kicking the burn. Get the engines. Get back over there. Do it again. It's all right, isn't it? Nice and easy. You know, with 110 or something, you know, I've managed to get quite a few people in those economy cargo class. Um, here he is, we're dropping back out again now. But I do like, you know, a little bit of lore like this. It, everything in Elite isn't shiny and new, right? It's, um, we've got a bit, well, we, we can actually see what's going on now. From the other side. It's had a right old pasting in it. Look at that. Big rents everywhere. Big hole in the ring. The word misses. No one likes that. Done a right old number. It's amazing. I can get in through the doors with, I don't know, say whatever they think is illegal in this system. Yeah, people can get bombs on. Oh, we've got a... Collector's keyed up. Where are we going? 39. I changed my colours and I don't know. There we go, 39. Look at that. It's all kinds of nasty, isn't it? Look at it. Things blowing off everywhere. Explosive decompression. And we've got our limpets. We could have, I could have gone for a bigger limpet control and got more limpets on the go, but let's be fair. What's the point? Huh? What have we got so far? Skate pods, wreckage components. It's not critical yet. Got to hang it out a bit, see? Still got some left. Things getting a bit hot in the old cockpit. Morning. 
So we're being nudged as well by bits of scaffolding and stuff. If you look out the windows, there's big girder here, look, you know, it's giving us a good nudging. One heat sink left. I'm gonna need that for when I get out. Yes, you know I could I could get more, couldn't I? But to be fair, let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. Let's get ourselves on the deck. Right, I'm down. I'm not leaving the ship. They can come to me. All this when you leave your ship rubbish. Good old parky dock. Okay then. Let's not hang about. Passenger lounge. Yeah, go on, we'll pick them all up. And you lot. And this lot, we'll have all of them. Well, some of you might hear the wind down here in the Welsh Riviera in Barry. Yes, folks, it's really windy. We had huge wind um, last night. And it wasn't coming from me. But, um, you know, garden furniture strewn about the back garden this morning. It was a nightmare. It was all happening. Just pick another cabin. So you've cleared two out. Can I get you in? Yes, I can. And I've still got a little bit of space. We get you lot in. Ooh, one left. And there's never just one per. Ooh, there is. There's one person. Ah, see. Requirements not met. Oh, sorry. Um, am I not? Bothering to look, I'm just getting out of here. Um, time to go, said Florence. Still got that heat sink ready. Look at all that. Things blowing up and generally getting in the way all over the place. I'm out of heat sink ammo, but we are cooling down dramatically. I'm just going to ease out nice and slowly, give anybody any time to... Don't think anything's going to come with us. We're out. Limpet's gone. Well, kind of did our best, didn't we? Because that place is knackered. Look at it. We're going to single-handedly clear this station out. Right, okay then. 
You all know the drill. Back to Parkinson Dock. We're off ski. So it costs a, about 10 grand for heat sink ammo. Couple of collectors, who cares? The good thing is it doesn't take long to get back to the rescue ship when you're doing this. We're going in for one of those amazing landings. So, it's a good video um, on the Elite Dangerous Alpha mission uh, with some Q&A that I did earlier on in the week. Quite surprised they come out. I thought they would have got their act together in order to come up with the footage. But, you know, it's all building suspense for Odyssey, isn't it? Which I think is good. You know, and, and um, the dev who, who was on there for the, the alpha mission, pre-alpha mission that they showed, you know, he was quite chatty, answered, the, answered some good questions. Um, come on, we're going to land or what? Landing gear, Richard. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's been a long day. He was quite chatty. Uh, I thought it was, um, you know, one of the better dev diaries they've done. Actually showing you part of the finished game. And don't forget, you know, Frontier is not obliged in any shape or form to do this for you. Um, you know, they're showing something. They're, they're wearing their heart on their sleeve. We're going for the echoes on that. Uh, I do like all the materials. Look at this. Let's clear it all down, shall we? People, oh, I'm looking to leave the starport. Help, help, help. Do not worry. The rescue badger is here to save you. Bit of scrambled data there. We're getting all of that. And you know, what are you earning? Mm, not very much, really. Um, in fact, not a hell of a lot, but... Out of all the community goals, there's no real reason to be doing it, is there really? How long will the event go on? Uh, it hasn't mentioned. Usually these things go on for about two days. You know? You'd think, you know, for an escape pod, it'd be a bit more than a couple of thousand, wouldn't you? Huh? What else did I pick up? I've still got personal effects. What's going on here? No, I haven't got any personal effects. Okay, we've still got limpet. We're happy. Just make a note how much money we're on. 209,903,000. Right, let's see what that goes up to. Launchy launch, let's get back out there. Yeah, this won't be going on for a week. Or if it does, it'll be different stations. But it seems they've hit virtually everybody everywhere. There's quite, a, no matter where people are, as long as they're in the bubble somewhere, um, 
you should be able to get close to a station. And in the description of this video, I've put the um, the Galnet article. Parkinson dog. And you know what? I mean, it's no point going to another one, is there? Because. Unless this one dries up. Because it'll be the same old stuff when you get there. So. All things considered. There's only two, two couple of jumps away. Let's go, go, go! We're jumping. Laters. <laughs> Rob, curry night, is it? I think I might have a kebab tonight. The kebab shop's gone all 21st century and got a website. So you haven't got to talk to the mans. And I don't mind talking to the mans, but there's always, always some sort of like element of vagueness when they're taking your order. You know they're just going to give you what they think they're going to give you. And then some sort of sleight of hand happens and it never looks like what it does in the picture. Um, look at the mess. Look at the mess of it they've made. Let's swing this boat around. We are going in. Collectors and eat sinks ready. Commander, do not deviate from your current heading. We're in pad 24 this time. Heat sinks ready. Shooting the heat sinks off. Oh, I won't accept any lack, any liability or damage caused to your ship if you're a decent citizen. What's going on all the way over there? It's quite good because the trucks aren't going as well, isn't it? They're like, oh, no, park up, I'm off. Look at all these rents there from the explosions. Time for another eat sink to be shot off. So what are we getting? Well, we haven't picked anything up. Oh, well, there you are then. It's that encrypted correspondence I quite fancy. What's all that about? Limpets aren't doing... Limpets aren't surviving very well, are they? It's a good point. It, it could be, a, it could be, you know, one of the new adversaries. It can't always be the Thargoids, can it? Right, let's get on the deck.
Come on, we'll resupply. Something went a bit horribly wrong then for some reason. It's taking its time, don't it? Oh, could you take any longer? It would seem not. It's the longest thing possible ever. Right. Anyway, starport services. Passengers. Oh, come on, fellas. I just cleared you all out. This lot aren't even getting any, any love. See, I'm being fair. I'm going to the people at the bottom of the list as well. I've always got to be with the ruling faction to get help from Ricardo. We'll take anyone. Well, hopefully. Especially they got scrambled emission data. We'll have all of that. This. Oh no, we can't. Right, um. Go on, we'll have you. We'll have you lot. Anyone left over? No. Right, well, there's, you know, a few people are going begging. Um. Let's look at our modules. Have I taken damage on a... No, there, look. So where's the heat sink? Come on. Should be that one. Oh, well. Let's go. Go, go, go. Well, you know, no one really knows what these thargoids look like, do they? Gone all frosty, look. The two that come out of you is something. There must be so much guff floating around you that it's all getting caught up in the um, in the damage there's loads of stuff there look at it fire another heat sink off that's our last burst now what have we got quite a bit. Wreckage components, personal effects, damaged escape pods. We'll start slowly making our way towards See, I got nothing I got nothing left. That's it, we're done. Oh, don't spew all this stuff out. Can't. Oh. I'm not jettisoning stuff. I'm just... Oh. You utter, complete and utter. 
Right, anyway, rescue ship. Let's go. Did everything go? It didn't all go, so that's all right. Okay, I go scoop. Let's get out of here. So I got my drag drives engineered up on this. Got pack hounds. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Oh, come on. And this is rescue missions. I think they should be doing rescue missions on planet services. What do you all think about that? You know? Ground-based rescue missions. Exactly the same as what's happening here, right? Okay, you can just stand there and just pick your people up and get them out because, you know, there's no heat. But there's got to be some way around it to make it a bit perilous. Like, I don't know. People are attacking the ships. Or the base lasers have been turned on. Friendly unit, so, you know, you've... You've got a bit of peril. That'd be a good idea. Hey, what are we doing? Let's get back over there. It's all gone wrong now, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, come on. Right. Let's let them off with their toasty clothes. So, passenger lounge. Looking to leave. Yes, give me the money. Money, 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 baby. Money, money, money. It's not big money, is it? Do you know what I mean? Good way of getting materials or data. Scramble data, yes, we'll have that. Disrupted wake echoes, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. We'll have that too. Okay, guess what? Let's go again. How much have we made? Not a lot. About a million. Silas, how you doing? I know, it's, it's a rarity for me to be streaming on a Thursday. This God's day of kebabness. Pack is dark. There's the old rescue ship. clothes. All their sunglasses would have melted and everything. But you think, right? They're getting people out. But surely they're going to need supplies then, aren't they? 
And these supply missions come a little bit after, don't they? But why aren't you bringing supplies in now? You know what I mean? So why aren't you bringing supplies into these stricken stations now? Like, I don't know, water, bandages, suntan lotion, um, fire blankets, fire extinguishers, buckets of water. Is it a rescue or is it an evacuation? Right? Or is it both? Do you know what I mean? What's all this about? Anonymous access. You've been permitted access, Commander. Install your shields are online prior to entry. Right. So if they let me get anything out here, it's bloody ridiculous. Here we go. We're going in again. Let's get ourselves all nice and frosty. Pad 10. A little bit further into the... Into the, the area. We're going to get just... Oh, we're getting knocked left and right. I don't think it's a good, it's a good effect to get to be knocked backwards and all the rest of it, isn't it? We are picking up stuff. Got quite a few things already. Then I just realised I didn't offload it, did I? Bit of an omission on my uh, my VR. Got plenty of space though, let's face it. See, being a little bit further in. We're getting we're getting the good stuff. Onto heat sink bank number two. Heat sink deployed. You know, we get to see all these these things sparking off. And we've seen all this before, like you know, it doesn't happen that often. There goes the eight sink. We are cleaning up. If I don't do anything daft like lose the ship, we'll be all right. And we're down. Let's get our peeps. Take the shields offline. Really? Well, yeah, good point, actually.
Right. Starport services. It's rescue time. And it won't let us do anything because I got anonymous access. You utter bunch of bunch of bunch of stupid people. Don't rescue our civilians, everybody, because um, your cargo hatch blew off when you were last through here because you hung around too long rescuing people, so we find you. Okay, so thanks to Azar Lacoma, hope I've said your name right, shields are off, so I'm not heating up. At, I don't notice the difference. I'm heating up just as fast. We might get one more thing here. And we've got to get out. I don't think it made the blindest bit of difference. It was a good idea. Parkinson Dock Rescue Ship. Oh well, there you go. I wonder how much people are making an hour on this. Because to be fair, 10 seconds longer, I'll take that. I should turn all the weapons off as well, shouldn't I? Like... All, all my pack hounds. All this stuff's gonna... Add, isn't it? Right, where am I? Am I landing? Yes, I am. Right, let's get the gear down this time. Get ourselves in. So I've turned essential stuff off. And hopefully I can um, pay my fines off here. Yes, I can. 150 credits. People are losing their lives here. Do you know what I mean? Stupid. Stupid game. Right. Wreckage. Occupied escape pods. Got a couple of them. People still getting out, see? Damage escape pod. Hand in those items. Okay. So anything else that I add? Encrypted correspondence. That's what I add. Encrypted correspondence. We will sell the lot. 
that's it. Now, I need some more limpets. Not interested in paint. We don't need paint work around here. Limpets, however. That's about right there. Um, am I ready to go again? Yeah, that's right. So we'll get the... We've cut everything down. Um, ship. Yeah, we're looking okay. Right, okay then. So we, we've made a bit of a change. We've turned a lot of things off. And I'll turn the shields off when I get a bit closer. Um, obviously, got to keep certain things on. Otherwise, it would be a bit daft. Um, yeah, good stuff. Right, let's... Select where we're going. The dog has now been led in the house, so the dog's happy. Base heat. Right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Jumping. We are jumping. And we're out. We've cleared our fines, so perhaps we won't be too much of a complete net of Percy when we walk in. Sparks and everything. Look at that. What was in all those cargo pods? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Does make you wonder. Let's dock. Clear for approach, Commander. Please remain calm. We're on our way in. We're ready. Let's go, go, go. Pad two. Commander, emergency procedures are now in full effect. All ships will be taken below deck upon landing. Which is going to be right about there. going off picking up all this stuff so a load of materials there is quite close which saves going to all the ones that are over there right That 
it's not going to give me a nudge, I don't think, anyway, so that's something I'm not. There goes the heat sink. No, it's not. That was the... How are we doing? Not doing too bad. We are looking a bit hot. Limpets are doing their funky thing. Oh, this is great. Yeah, Josh. Joshua, mate. Honest to God. It's it's um the data I'm getting is amazing. You know, what what have I got in you? Quite a bit of stuff already. Can you hear the rain? Oh, I'm getting a nudge. Big weather out here. Woohoo! Right, let's get on the deck. I've only got one heat sink left. Yes, I can make some more, but that's what it's all about now, isn't it? Come on, limpets. I haven't got time for you messing about. Right. Let's get on the deck. Passenger lounge. Cut this rain is mental. It is coming down in sheets. It really is. Right. A quick look for anything decent that I want. It's all seems to have a run on mic articulation motors and all the things that I don't want. There was loads of data the last time. Oh well. Looks like I'll be um, taking the mini option then. Yeah, we're getting some we're getting some big some big missions. Hundred and fifty thousand, hundred and sixty thousand. All that sort of stuff. It's strange this weather. It's raining like a like a mental thing, right? But then, um, then the sun comes out. It's mad. 
<laughs> Sun comes out, I think, oh, this is not bad. And then all of a sudden, all holy hell breaks loose. Right. That's it. Let's get out of here. This will have to be a quick one. Seventy seven Fahrenheit. Blimey. Spring has sprung for you then. You are clear of the landing pad. Exit the facility quickly and safely. We is out. Look at all that swag. We did well. He did very well. So there's something nice and relaxing about doing it as well, really. You know, it's, it's a good way to decompress after a hard day's work. And I've been in meetings all day. It's been relentless. Southeastern, southeastern Louisiana. Yeah, I've heard. I've been speaking to people around that area as well. Today, actually, as it happens. Got the pad. I'm gonna go in as quick as it'll let us. As it not let us, but let us. Anchors, anchors, anchors. All the way back and down. Now, I don't want any of their articulation motors. I don't want any of their microweave cooling hoses. So it's all about the money. Money, 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 money. Money, money. Must be like, what have we got left to give this guy? I don't know, get some of those microweave cooling hoses. Yeah, you know, the ones you connect your radiators to, to the mains pipe, like, that's the, well, that's the stuff. What do you connect your taps to your sink to? Yeah, because you're really going to want them, innit? It's the data I want. And that is it. And then contact. Nice little 20K. Encrypted correspondence, and we'll sell that. I think that is it. It is. So not bad. And the missions are starting to increase in value a bit. Um, ooh, look, two million. Um, plus, it's, the, it's all about the materials and doing something good. 
isn't it? So. Let's launchy launch. So, people in the chat, I know I can see you all there. Um, are you doing the rescue missions as well? This is the question. Are you doing the rescue missions? This is the big question. Anyone anyone else doing the rescue missions? Yes or no? God, you're all right, Sagittarius, eh? Oh, I've got to get myself over there. i got to get myself over there, really. Before Odyssey drops, because I want to have that first footfall effect. Yes, big rain. Big rain, fellas. It is huge rain, in fact. Right. Let's go again. A.A. Ron. Good stuff. Ghost Wolf. It is a lot of rain. It was even worse a couple of minutes ago. If it gets too bad, I'll mute the mic. So if I go quiet, it means there's been a torrential downpour. decompressions along the starboard bow. Yeah, good point there, Josh. Good point. We are going to be ready to go. Heat sinks away. Oof, I've been... That was a major knock-off course then, wasn't it? We'll just stay right there. Ah! 
Look at the cargo hatch. It's a bit out of proportion, isn't it? For a ship like this. And look how my gun is poking right the way through it. I don't know what hit me. I think it was just an explosion. Look at that. Look at the gun poking through that. See how bloody ridiculous that is. You thought they would have sorted that out, wouldn't you? I can't be the only person to have a whopping great big beam laser on the bottom of their anaconda. Why isn't the collector? What's gone wrong here? Cargo hatch is fine. Just got booted. Hmm. Why can I not fire off a second collector? It says I can. Have I managed to pick anything up? No. Be one of those missions. Servers are down. Hmm. Well, I'm not. I'm not out yet. I'm gonna have to get this thing on the deck. Or at least we got something. Um, right, there we go. We are. We are down. Starport services. Let's see if it boots me now. He's got his helmet on. Look. Well, there's no point running a mission, is there, Frontier? And then people getting booted off the entire flipping. See, that's, that's, that's what gets me. They do something in game. They go, all right, go on, I'm close. I'll go and do something like that. I'll get the ship set down. Get my humanitarian aid hat on. And uh, here you go, look. Yep. Oh, no. There you are. I've been booted too. No, I haven't been booted. I'm still connected somehow. Five past six, UK time, and we're not getting missions from the server. Ugh. Yet I'm still connected. That is odd, isn't it? Come on, I got people to save. Yes, the Hesperus is the Adamaster's si uh, sister ship, isn't it? Yeah, the servers can't cope with a massive influx of people trying to help other people out. That's what it is. Yep, 
Yeah, we're all speaking too soon. If I lose this ship, I will be irritated. Maybe the, maybe the last, last mission I do. All right, Nigel, how's it going? <clears throat> I'm just waiting to see if the server's going to let me connect. You're right. You're right, Ghost Wolf. Too many people. Totally right. getting ridiculous come on fellas I don't think anything else is going to happen. So what we'll do for everyone's viewing pleasure, I'll turn the sound up. And um, while we're waiting, hopefully Galnet will let us hear what's going on. Nine starports hit by terrorist bombings. Pilots Federation alert. Explosions have struck starports across the Alliance, Empire and Federation in a coordinated bombing attack by the NMLA. The capital systems of all three superpowers, Akana, Alioth and Sol, have been targeted by the terrorists, as well as six other high population systems. Precise casualty numbers are unavailable, but several hundred thousand people have been killed with many more injured. There are urgent calls for independent pilots to rescue survivors and support repair operations at all nine locations. Doors Hub in the Akanar system. Donaldson in the Alios system. Dublin Citadel in the Gateway system. Han Gateway in the Nanomum system. Ito Orbital in the Rear system. Lathe Station in the Lathe system. Li Qingzhou in the Seoul system. Parkinson Ito Dock in the Eotiensa system. system. Shade and market in the Kamad Henu system. The explosive damage to each station is consistent with corrosive enzyme weapons previously used by the NMLA. This has triggered automated systems designed to respond to Thargoid assaults. The Alliance Defense Force, Federal Navy and Imperial Navy are on full alert. Other military and security forces across the core systems are preparing for possible further attacks. The Galactic Summit has been temporarily suspended while Alliance, Empire and Federation leaders respond to the emergency. A full lockdown is in effect in the Sirius system, where the scheduled bounty hunting and trade initiatives have been cancelled. Well, there you have it. They're jolly. Yeah, it is. A, it was an attack. You're right. It was an attack and um, like they were saying earlier on in the stream this could be lining up a new faction to go um, to fight against on the ground-based missions in Odyssey could be couldn't it could well be so yeah lots of things going on Lots of things going on. So. Oh, is it going to. Galactic Summit no. cancelled. NMLA attacks superpowers. The conference in the Sirius system has ended is prematurely gonna... after terrorist yeah. bombings against nine starports across the Alliance, Empire and Federation. Sirius Corporation confirmed that the cancellation was due to fears that Patterson Enterprise Station may be the next target. All scheduled business, including finalizing the Sirius Treaty, has been halted. 
The delegations are returned to their home systems under high security. Oh, for God's sake. Temporary permits for the Syria system will remain anyway. in place for one week. Pilots okay. who contributed to security and trade initiatives help hey, the working. Can Woo -hoo. Their rewards at the spirit of Leila. Right. Firmware, we'll have some Kutumaya of that. and Lacon Spaceways will continue to offer a 10% discount on all their ships for one more week. The Neo Marlinist Liberation Army has claimed responsibility for the simultaneous mission critical message. Numerous attacks in nine systems, including Disrupted Wake Echoes, Akana, Alioth, and Sol. The following message was broadcast on NMLA propaganda channels. I no longer have a name. Nor a family. Nor a future, each taken by the Empire. Incoming mission critical message. It's now alive, I tell you, it's alive. Number printed on my uniform in their torture chambers. Now all I am is Theta 7. The Alliance and Federation's rulers have revealed themselves as imperialist supporters of the Deval dynasty, which has crushed our ideals for a thousand years. Peoples of the galaxy, I'm you can change for the data this. they're offering. We give you your own nine martyrs. Use them to retake control and regain your power. I think I've got everything. Media news feeds are detailing the impact and implications of the attacks. There is speculation that NMLA activists were concealed among Marlinist refugees that fled to Alliance and Federation space to escape Imperial persecution. The Marlinist parliament has officially stated it has no connection to neo-Marlinist extremists and that it will cooperate with security and emergency services during this crisis. Message. Well, there you are, a little bit of law for you. And there's only one seat left. So someone gets to be lucky. Like you're lucky on the plane. Right. Alright, oh, what's the data I'm after? Right. Well, this is the data you can use for engineering, like scrambled data. Disrupted wake air echoes, which you'll need for doing your FSD engineering with the engineers. So doing these missions is a great way to get all the engineering materials you do need to unlock some engineers and to engineer some of your modules. In fact, this weekend, depending on what other community goals come out, right? I'll be doing engineering of Packhound missiles. And we're out. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? We had about five, ten minutes then of a server reboot. Nice one, Frontier. Let's line up for the rescue ship. And you can also scan some ships for some of this information as well. Um, like bulk scan data or, um, you know, abnormalous shield scans, all that sort of stuff. So there's, there's stuff you can do without doing this about doing these missions, so don't worry about that. But um, to be fair, this is easy, providing you've got a ship big enough to do it. So I'm here in Miconda, fitted out as a rescue ship mission of mercy sort of thing. Here it is, there's our pad. So, you know, it's a good way of getting this. Modular terminals. Oh, that is... Um, is that the blaster? We'll check now.
Todd the Blast, I think was that, that was modular terminals, wasn't it? Let's have a look. No. No. See, decoded emission data there for Tiana Fortune. He wants credits. Palin wanted sensor fragments. Celine Jean Painite. Marco Quent. Marco Quent is the one. He wanted modular terminals. So we're recharged and rearmed. Orly. It's the NLMA. So it's that that group that's been making all sorts of trouble. Legacy firmware. Don't want any of these cooling hoses. We'll go for the money. Disrupted wake echoes. This is doing great stuff for our faction reputation as well, right? More disrupted wake echoes. Yeah, you take a bit of a hit on the money, but, um, you know, for this sort of, for these sort of materials, it's a, I say it's a good way of getting these materials. Good old modular terminals there, look. I think we got everybody. Cool. Let's go, go, go. Marco Quent. Modular terminals. Where is he? You've got to unlock Elvira Martuk. So you've got to travel at least 300 light years away from your start position. Three Suntel rec uh, relics. Then you'll get access to Marco Quent, which is modular terminals, and you have to be invited by the Sirius Corporation. But with all that's going on, you should have that anyway. And what I'll do is I will put that in the chat directly for you. There it is. My link to the Marco Quint video. Check it out. So there we go. We um, should get on our way. the modular terminals baby all about the module terminals so let's jumpy jump Oh, you're too kind. We just in. Join the stream on a weekend, and we're operating a private game now, so you can do some combat. We can all get together and do some combat, Orly. All right? Can I sign your ship? Yeah, mate. I'll get my sharpie marker out.
Here we go. In for another run. Due care, he says. With my beam laser. <laughs> I got pack hounds on this. But how many can I comfortably get on by still making the ship viable? Because pack hound missiles, right? Yeah, they're great and all the rest of it. But, and here's the big but. Then they've been toned down a bit. since they first came out. I mean, I unlocked them on Xbox, so... You know, that was... That's about where we are. Go we'll pick up all our materials. Limpets doing their job. Look at that. There's a lot of material right there. Well, that makes a change, doesn't it? So we've got skate pods. What's that? Something or other. Some material. Our limpets going back with an escape pod. Look at that. <laughs> and the limpet gone. Let's get a bit more height. Got a bit already. That's not bad. the gun poking through the cargo hatch. Scruffy. Out of ammo! Yeah. Come on, limpets. What have we got? Black boxes, escape pods, personal effect damage escape pods. There's loads of stuff here. Look at it. I mean, you've really got to have a, do a good effort with a massive um, limpet control to get all of these. And I've already got a Type 3, I think, on this. But at least I'm getting something. That's the good thing about it. Right, we've got to think about getting down now. Starport services. Yeah, I could do more limpets, but you know, and heat sinks. Right, what's good? Oh, we're back on microweave cooling hoses and articulate and insulation. They're pulling off the walls. See, there's no data here to pick up, so this will be me. Oh, here we are. Look, data. Another 
cabin. Thank you. You might as well get something that you're actually after, isn't it? So... Yeah, now we're coming down to it. We haven't got many to, to pick up now. Incoming mission critical message. There we go. Incoming mission critical message. And that's it. Oh, it's two there, look. Requirements not met. What's going on here? Sort your programming out. Right, okay, we're done. Woohoo. Launchy launch. Because I don't like Star Citizen. Um, well, I don't, so I don't like Star Citizen. I've had it for a while since it, it was in kickstart at the beginning of the kickstarter so my pc my pc is a gen 4 i7 with a 1070 graphics card and it struggles with star citizen didn't used to struggle with star citizen and i thought you know i think it is a really promising game especially with um you know the old wing commander bit that they're going to do the single player campaign with it i like the idea of all of that um so i've got it i just haven't installed it because my pc is you know struggling shall we say that's why i think they got some good stuff some good ideas but elite's a strange game isn't it it's the playability of elite and we all moan about it. Oh, it's grindy. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's boring. There's nothing new to do. But they're addressing all that with Odyssey. There's new content coming. Um, Star Citizen still in alpha. You know? I, I quite like the idea of Star Citizen. But, you know, and I'm due a PC upgrade. But I think by the time that game is actually in beta and ready to be released, which could be any time, right? Um, that could be two PCs away. You know, will it ever be finished, uh, Citizen? That's the question. I mean, I've been playing Valheim lately. Brilliant game. Love it. Fantastic. Thinking man's Minecraft. Oh, anchors. Anchors, anchors. Yeah, do you know what? It's the whole planetary combat. It's the ability that if you... Want, and it's not all about the base missions, is it? Right? I think it's all about, um, you know, new aspects of the game. That's what I'm interested in. Like, you know, people who want to fly around can fly around. People want to go and do missions with their squad. Do missions with your squad. Um, you know, you give them more of an option. I think Elite Dangerous will be releasing the game that Star Citizen wanted to release, but has got carried away with making it the best game they could possibly make it. Which in this game, technology moves so quickly, you're never gonna you're never gonna get ahead of the curve. Yep, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing.
So we're not exactly making loads of money, but it is easy money. Let's go, go, go. So I think this Saturday, Wales plays Italy. Don't know what time that is. So my Amazon device has just informed me it's Saturday at 3.15 is the kickoff. Now I do like the rugby. So I will be streaming after kickoff if I'm not too drunk. And definitely on Sunday at about 2.30 I tend to stream for about 3-4 hours on a, on a Sunday. Ibex the goat, how you doing dude? So We'll be looking at pack hounds, seeing what there is to do. Do a bit of pack hound engineering as well, I think, uh, on Sunday. Seeing how viable they are in a fight, all that sort of stuff. We'll be doing. Are pack hounds worth it? You know what I mean? So we'll see how that goes. Dude, I'm here to help. Pad nine this time. Yeah, well, yeah, you're not going to be able to walk around your ship, unfortunately, not for a while. Um, and unless you're docked. I think Elite's the sort of game that you don't want to leave the controls, do you? You don't want to leave the controls because you could get, I don't know, what, what would you do in your ship? Let's say, for example, you're using the convenience. You go into the toilet in your ship, like what you can do in Star Citizen, right? And um, you get pulled out of frame shift. Or interdicted by Thargoids, you, you're quite literally going to lose your ass. You, you're going to lose your ship because you're walking around your ship and you can't get back to your cockpit in time. That could be quite a little bit of the fun, mind. But, um, you know, it could be a costly walk. Couldn't it? So for me, walking around your ship, it's, it'd be interesting. And there's definitely, I think, a place for it within game. Like when you're buying a new ship or when you're actually landed at a station or all that sort of stuff. There would definitely be a risk in doing so. Don't you think? all that stuff to pick up there look. bits of station falling off of uh, bits of station NPC crew yeah I wouldn't trust mine with the main ship I don't know about you What are we picking up? Yeah. Of course, I didn't not flesh the step the last time I forgot. Be 
yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to Odyssey. And it's always, it's all, any game is going to have its detractors. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't think it's very good. Do you know, and, and it's going to be, it is, it's going to be what it's going to be at launch, right? But you can't say Frontier haven't fixed a lot of things. It's this game's developed over the six years we've been playing it, you know, however long it's been. You know, it's, um, they're certainly committed to the product and it's their flagship game as well. Oh, I've been shunted. I got shunted by something, by an explosion. Cells on the deck. Pick up some peeps. You know the drill. Not many people wanting to get off, look. Hostile ships may be sent against me. Good God. Incoming mission critical message. Incoming mission critical message. And that's it. We're done. There's no one else to pick up in what we've got left. I'd like to see them come after me with the amount of pack hounds I got on this ship. Anyway, there you go. Parkinson Dark. Oof, we are being knocked about. We're taking a right old beat in here. Station's getting a bit lively. And we're out. Quite a bit of swag. Of course, if somebody did come at me, I'd turned everything off. I'd have to rearm all the weapons. And, you know, that could be a problem. One, two, three, four. All this stuff needs to be rearmed. So that would be a bit unfortunate. Four, I think. Well, I was looking at the engineering and I thought, hmm, high capacity magazine, 
and either thermal cascade or or drag but then i put one as well as um because i've got so many what do i put on one of them pack our missile there high capacity magazine and oversized that's what i put on one and then on the other one i put um high capacity magazine and drag munitions making them drag hounds but I've got one, two, three, four, five on there. So there you go. Right, so let's land and get in. But I'll be doing the engineering properly this weekend. Yeah, I bet Sol is on the, on Xbox. It, there's a lot of stuff happening in Sol. Um, let's drop these people off. It's not big money, but you know what? it's rewarding, isn't it? That's what we've been saying. It is rewarding. Made a bit of money. Got some materials. And now let's offload what we've got for search and rescue. Occupied escape pods, that's 10 people got out. Personal effects, five. Nine people who didn't make it because their escape pods have been damaged. $37,000. Thousand credits. And then, in the commodities market, have we got anything? Encrypted correspondence. Sell that. And that's it. So, thanks for spending the past two hours and ten minutes as we've been doing rescue missions in uh, Parkinson Dock. Uh, we've been making some money, doing some collection with the limpets, rescuing some people, because it's the right thing to do. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch. You know, we're everywhere. We're <laughs> like a rash. Uh, we're also on Facebook as well. Look out Ricardo's Gaming there as well. We stream on the weekends, Saturday afternoons and Sunday afternoons. Sunday afternoon, about half past two onwards. Saturday, the rugby's on. We'll be a little bit later. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. Have fun playing Elite Dangerous and stay safe, everybody. I'll speak to you soon. Have fun.